recording. Hi, we are so excited to have Steve Harpster from Harpstoon Publishing with us today. Um, he is a professional illustrator and author. He's from Cincinnati, Ohio. And Callie and I have been drawing with him every day. We get so excited when we know it's about one o'clock. We're like, we gotta, we gotta go everybody because we gotta go draw. If we're talking, this is my mom, we'll be like, we gotta hang up with her because we get so excited. So this has been a really great release for us during this you know, crazy time. So we thank you so much for doing what you have done. Uh, and so I want to give it to you and you steal the show. <laughs> okay. Well, thank you so much for having me today. And thank you so much for drawing with me. So when this all started, I was doing um, three and four school visits a week. I travel all over the country doing school visits, teaching, um, you know, all kinds of, uh, you know, kids, adults, teachers, students, how to draw. And uh, so everything came to an abrupt end for me as well. And so uh, I wanted to do something. And <laughs> so I started a Facebook drawing class, um, a live Facebook drawing class, where I was expecting maybe 50 people to sign in and join. And then it turned out that thousands were joining and, si and signing in and drawing. Yeah. So it's been a lot of fun. I've got to meet lots of people this way. And, um, it's amazing how many people overseas are drawing with me, especially in London and Scotland and Ireland. Uh, that I didn't expect at all. Um, so it's been a lot of fun and started off being a 14 day drawing thing. And now it's been a 52 day drawing thing. Um, so it's gone by, um, but it has, it structures my day. It allows me to look forward to something, makes me plan and, and get prepared for things. Um, it does take a little bit of, time away with my kids like I have to make them get off their tablets and their devices because of the bandwidth or internet so that I can have a good signal so it is a little disruptive to the whole day as well um, so my kids have been real troopers sometimes they draw with me um, I think sometimes people understand that I'm just dad to them <laughs> and so I'm always drawing and whether we're watching a movie at home or we're doing something um, we're, I'm always drawing, so it's so much a part of their life that it's not that exciting to them as it is to other people, and I think that's just the case with, you know, any uh, parent. Uh, yeah, <laughs> Callie will be like, like where's my... Cooper? Where's Tyler? <laughs> so... I know, everyone asks, where's Cooper? Where's Tyler? And they're like playing Minecraft, or sometimes they are kind of having some downtime because um, they get away from their schoolwork because they can't be online at that time. And so they decide, Cooper's been kind of hiding out because then he can't, we can't find him because so he knows he gets a little break from schoolwork. So um, yeah, so they don't draw with me uh, uh, every day. And, uh, um, but uh, anyways, it's been a lot of fun for me. Um, so what I do, and I guess most of you have been drawing with me every day, so I got some videos coming out next week, so I'm going to have a How to Draw Scooby-Doo video on Monday, okay, so I just finished that video, so my videos that I do on YouTube, those are recorded ahead of time and edited, and they're much shorter, um, and so the, the benefit of those YouTube videos is you can pause them, you can go back and watch them again, and things that if you make a mistake, Whereas when I do the live drawing, um, it's a little, uh, there's more interaction, there's more talking, um, and uh, it's more um, just on the fly. Another one that I'm working on, another video for next week is gonna be a traveling panda traveler. He wanders around. This is from my Kukui fantasy creature book. And then I thought it'd be fun to also do a video about drawing spider pig. Not the spider pig that you remember from the movie, like your own spider pig. One of the things I try and get young artists to understand is you don't have to draw exactly what you see on your TV or your favorite cartoons, or you know, you can you can have a little artistic license. You can um, put your own personality into your drawings, and that's what makes drawing so fun. We don't all draw the same. We all have our unique ideas and personalities. So I always encourage artists to draw their own characters, put your own stamp, even when you're drawing my stuff, I want you to put your own stamp on it, make it yours. So today I'm going to show you how we can take a number six. We're going to turn a number six into a cartoon cat. So on your piece of paper, go ahead and draw okay. a number six. 
Now, if you don't have a piece of paper ready and you can, uh, you know. I think we're all good. Give me a, a sign like that. Okay, everyone's good. Thumbs up, everyone's got the piece of paper. Okay, everyone's, did everyone draw number six? Okay, excellent. So first thing we're gonna do, I like to start with the eyes. So right here, we're gonna draw the cartoon cat's eyes. While we're waiting, I would like to say that my favorite drawing that you've done yeah. was uh, Wacky Wednesday. I, I love Wacky Wednesday, yeah. but I love the uh, Goldilocks characters that we did. Oh. That, I was, that, too. that was by far my favorite. And then I made Callie turn that into a story and give to her teacher. Yeah. So it, was, it was awesome. Yes. Well, that's something I am trying to incorporate more with the drawings um, is then taking these drawings and, and develop them in, developing them into stories. Even if you're just writing, you know, words about the character, maybe the character's favorite color, the character's favorite catchphrase, the character's favorite food. It doesn't have to be a long story, mm -hmm. but take these characters and make something more of them. So let's draw the top of the characters. So we're just going to connect the six over here. So we've got a shape like that. <laughs> and then a nose right there. That's kind of a big nose for a cat, but remember, we're drawing cartoon characters. So we're allowed to have what's called cartoon, cartooning license. We can make anything we want on our piece of paper. I'm going to shade that character's nose in. You might have done that too on your paper. And then we can draw, let's give this cat a big cartoony smile here with a line going down from the nose to the mouth. And then I like to make the mouth open. So I'm gonna draw another curve line here and I'll add a tongue. Look at that, you just made the mouth. And all drawing is, all drawing is, is lines and shapes placed in such a way that it represents a character or an object or something, you know, it's just a representation of something, just using lines and shapes. So that's why I use numbers and letters. It gives us a common starting spot. Okay. Thumbs up if you had cereal for breakfast. Thumbs up. Thumbs up if you ate breakfast. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Thumbs up if you had a donut for breakfast. Oh. Oh, I did. And thumbs up if you're ready for the next step. Woohoo! Awesome. Okay, so let's add a little cat eyebrows for our cartoon kitty and cat ears. Just like that, you drew a cat's face. Now we're gonna draw the body. Now, if you ran out of room on your paper, maybe not room for the body, that's okay. Cartoonists do that all the time. Sometimes things get cut off. So don't, don't worry about that. I'm gonna draw the body right there. And that body's just a simple shape. Let's draw the legs and feet. We're gonna draw two letter L's for the start of those legs. With a curved line for the top of each foot. And then let's finish those legs one here. And one right there. We can even add some little cat toes. <laughs> You're doing awesome out there. So thumbs up if you have a cat at home. 
I know. Mm. I have a thumbs up if you have a dog at home. Yeah. Thumbs up if you're wearing a hat today. <laughs> <laughs> thumbs up if you're wearing a top hat today. <laughs> <laughs> thumbs up if you're ready for the next step. Okay. So the next step, we're going to draw the character's arms. We're going to draw two lines on both sides of our character's body. And then let's draw some cartoon fingers. I draw a thumb and three fingers. And of course, what's the last thing a cat needs? That's right, pizza. That's right, it needs a slice of pizza. There we go. <laughs> what else does a cat need? What else does a cat need? Oh, good. I thought someone would say that. A skateboard. There you go. I feel like we're missing something. I feel like this cat's still missing something. What do you think? Who's got a who's got an answer out there? Tail or whiskers? Tail, that's right. I think we need to add a tail. And maybe your cat likes lasagna more than pizza. That's up to you. <laughs> And when you're done, if you want to hold your drawings up to the camera, I'd love to see them. So yeah. don't feel like you have to rush. But if you're finished with your draw, oh, wow. <laughs> Luke, you held yours up and it turned into a perfect Sonic. <laughs> <laughs> Galaxy A10, yours is awesome. I love the skateboard. You did great on it. Chris, <laughs> nice. David, I love yours. Yours has a lot of personality. Luke, yours is awesome. I see it now. Good job, Luke. Jennifer, look at the crazy eyes on that one. And Rebecca, you did amazing. Let's see. There, David, good. Yours is cute too. I love it. These are all so good. Good job. Nice. Good job, everybody. Okay. Thumbs up if you're excited that it's Friday. Thumbs up if it's nice where you live. Is it nice and sunny day out? Yeah. It's thumbs supposed up if, it's supposed to get bad though. Yeah, that's what it's supposed to do here. That's why the kids are outside no, playing. No. You don't go outside because it's supposed to rain really bad. Mm -hmm. Thumbs up if you're ready for one more drawing. Uh, you do another yeah. drawing? Okay, let's do another drawing. So what I thought right. I'd do is show you how to take that same number yeah. six. We okay, turn it into smaller this time. Let's take that same number six yeah, and I got into a, a person. So this time we're gonna draw a number six and we're gonna turn a number six into a person. Now when you draw people, feel free to add anything you want, change it any way you want. You want to make it look like yourself or like your next door neighbor or like uh <laughs> A teacher, you can do that, okay? So we're gonna draw the eyes for this character on this part of the six. So last time we drew them so they're on this circle part. Now we're kind of drawing them up here at the top. Let's add a nose right there. When I look at this number six, this kind of thing, it makes me think of a character's mouth yelling. Okay, so we're gonna draw some teeth here and a few teeth down here. Of course, this could all be a character yawning or eating or uh, out of breath, maybe scared. But I'm gonna make this character sort of shouting, I guess. So I'm gonna draw the tongue in there. I'm gonna use my pencil. Ah, I'm gonna use my pencil and just shade the color in. Now the reason I use a big chunky pen is so as it shows up on camera, but if I color in with that ch same chunky pen, 
it colors through the other side and ruins the piece of paper on the other side. So, by the way, we have gone through about ten Sharpie markers through this whole experience. <laughs> yeah, that's great. <laughs> Yeah, I was running out of sketch pads and there was no place open to buy yeah. them. Yeah, but was, look, uh, I wanted to show you, like, this is just Callie's drawing. Wow, Callie. Yeah. That's amazing. <laughs> well, that's great. I mean, one thing I have noticed since we've been drawing together, um, I get emails from uh, people or they post them on Facebook and the drawings just keep getting better and better. I think people have really noticed their skills have improved. Yes. Drawing every day. So, and I think that's important for people to know that that's how you get better is just doing it every day. And also not worrying when you make mistakes because that happens, you know, that's part of drawing. Okay, uh, let's draw the character's ear. Let's draw a curve line here and then I'm gonna put a letter V on its side in that ear. Okay, and then Let's draw some eyebrows. Okay, I just want to make sure everyone's caught up with me. Thumbs up if you like roller coasters. Oh, yeah. Nice. Thumbs up if you like water parks. Thumbs up if you like the beach. I'm not a huge beach person. Oh, everyone's a big beach person there. I hate the sand. I do not like, <laughs> I'm not a big fan of the beach. And thumbs up if you like sharks. Ooh. Oh. Luke, <laughs> yes. <laughs> Another reason I don't like the beach is the sharks. Okay, thumbs up if you're ready to draw again. Okay, okay, so. Let's add some hair. Now for the hair, you can decide what kind of hair you want. I'm just gonna do some crazy cartoon hair like this. But of course you can make your hair look any way you want. You could even put a bow in the hair and give some eyelashes if you wanted to. And then let's work on the character's body. We're gonna draw a simple shape like this. <laughs> and then for the legs and feet, we're going to draw those letter L's again with a curved line for the top of each foot. And then let's draw the other side of the legs there. We can add a little bit of shadow. Our character has a very long shirt, goes right over the top of the pants. And you can turn these into tennis shoes, real simple. <laughs> and Last thing we need to do is just add sleeves to our shirt. And then, I ah, try to move this around. And then, two lines from the arms. And of course, some fingers. And this character's yelling, yelling because he has no idea where's my pizza. He has no idea that a cat on a skateboard stole his pizza. <laughs> <laughs> So that's another thing you can do. A lot of times um, students will take my drawings and they'll put them all together on a piece of paper and they have them kind of correlate to one another. They will make them have um, as if they were a whole entire comic strip. 
So it's kind of funny to see. It's really amazing. I think one of the things, one of the biggest benefits I get from the school visits and the live drawing events is seeing what people draw because they inspire me as well. So it's like I inspire them to draw something, but then they take my drawings and they change them and they alter them and they come up with their own ideas. And then in turn, that inspires me. And I think of ideas that I didn't have before. So even with this, uh, um, the, the Facebook live event, it's really forced me to push myself and come up with new things like the Little Red Riding Hood story. That came up the morning of. I thought, that was by far my favorite. <laughs> yeah, I think I need to do more of those. So it's hard to gauge sometimes just in the comments alone how, how, uh, how well it is, <laughs> how well it's received. Um, I know a lot of people want to draw Pokemon. They want to draw yeah. things. Those people don't understand. They, take, they are harder to draw. And yeah. I'd really rather people use their imagination more and come up with their own characters. And um, I think the licensed stuff is better suited for like YouTube where you're kind of one-on-one -on -one and, and you know, you can pause the video. And um, yeah. plus it's really hard to find licensed characters that everybody loves. You know? right. <laughs> One group loves it, another group doesn't. And uh, so that's always tough too. Yeah, well for sure from a teacher standpoint, you know, that was my favorite because you could just take it and, you know, run with it and do other things with it. So. And I like the dragons. <laughs> The dragons are fun, but there again, I do the dragons and then, you know, like get comments, we, we just drew dragons, so it's weird. Yeah. <laughs> really hard to make everybody happy, so. Oh, we love Monster Monday, too. That's so. my favorite. Monster uh, Monday, yeah, that's my favorite, and I've started doing like some urban legend kind of characters, and um, that was interesting to hear urban legends around the world. Mm -hmm. So I think the fact that people from England and the, and the, um, and Scotland and Ireland and uh, are drawing with me. They add a different kind of take on things. I've learned a lot of terms that I didn't realize. You know, yeah. we play we play Pictionary in the beginning, and it's funny because um, I don't. You know, some of our language does not translate the same over there. So it's interesting. It's been really fun. Oh yeah, remember to hold up your drawing so I can see your last characters. Oh, they're so good. Oh wow. Nice. Oh wow. These are amazing. Everyone did great. <laughs> I did not. I did not. Some of them kind of look like Rick and Morty-ish. <laughs> they have like a Wait, sort of a, their very own unique style. That's what's so neat. So does anyone have questions they would like to ask? Any kind of... Okay, Cody, let me unmute you, Cody. Okay, Cody, go ahead. Um, um, excuse me, sir. Yes. What do you think of mine? Because it looks pretty cool. It looks like a pizza man. I love it. Yeah. It's like he's a pizza man delivering pizza and he went to his car to get the pizza and the cat had already taken it, right? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Cody's the one that loves dragons. Uh, or, or dinosaurs. Dinosaurs, sorry. Okay. Yes. Yeah. 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 Loves dinosaurs. I do too. And he's been drawing with you some. Good. Okay. Good. Let me mute. Let me unmute Luke. Luke? Okay. Um, I can't see Dave. No, hold on. <laughs> see Dave. All right. Okay. Okay. Steve. Yeah. How old, how old How old are you when you start when you started draw drawing? Okay. So when I started drawing, you know, um, probably I remember my first time really drawing something was in preschool. I remember drawing. So it was probably four or five, but my first real drawing that I really remember doing where I like thought, oh boy, I'm, I think I might be good at this, was in first grade. I drew a picture of Godzilla and it looked like Godzilla. I mean, people could see it and they'd say, wow, that's really like my friends saw it and, and they thought it was really cool. And uh, I think that was my first time realizing like, hmm, I might be, and I knew from first grade on that that's what I wanted to do. I wanted to be well, I thought I was going to be a cartoonist. I thought there was one person that drew all the cartoons on TV that sat there and drew like picture after picture after picture. I didn't realize that was a whole team of people, <laughs> but that's what I wanted to do. I wanted to draw cartoons. So, yeah. That was really cool. Interesting. <laughs> and I love the top hat. Thank you for getting so dressed up. I wish everyone dressed up like this. He dresses up every week. He has a new, it. he has a different suit for every week when we do this. So, I, he, yeah. Now, can you do magic tricks? <laughs> <laughs> no. 
<laughs> no. No. I, I can just wait. Cabra. If a rabbit comes out of that, oh! <laughs> <laughs> he can do magic. That's awesome. <laughs> Very I cute. love it. <laughs> I know. He, he's an eighth grader, so he will be going to the high school, so he will not be with me this next year. So we're super sad about that. Okay, that's great. I know. Does anybody else have a question for Mr. Harpster? Because I know he's got to go because he's got to get ready for his live I show. I got is another show. Mute, mute me. Uh, okay. Yes, sir. <laughs> 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 Mr. David, is anybody, Ms. Goodwin? Oh, Mr. David, hold on. Okay. Okay, I, I drew until I was about 14, about Luke's age, and then I stopped. Is it too late to start again? <laughs> no, it's not. Unfortunately, that's the thing. I mean, I, I find that when I travel to schools, um, you know, kindergarten, through sixth grade, they're really into it. And then something right. happens around sixth grade where they just kind of fall off the map with drawing. And I hear that a lot. I hear a lot of uh, adults say, I used to love drawing. I used yeah. to really be into it. And I used to draw all the time. And then, you know, uh, for whatever reason, they just stop. And no, it's not too late. And um, you can always take classes. I mean, it should be fun. It should be relaxing. You should enjoy it. I think those are the things that, I think the problem is adults, we look at other people's art and we get very right. like critical of ourselves. Mm -hmm. And if we could just be more like kids again and not be so critical and not, uh, and not uh, be so hard on ourselves. It's funny when I go yeah. to school, I walk around the gymnasium and all the kids are holding up their drawings and showing to me. If I walk by the teachers, they cover their drawings up. Right. <laughs> and it's just, <laughs> they're nervous for me to see their drawings. And it's, and that's just how we are as adults. We're very critical of ourselves, so hard on ourselves. So, right. That's something if we could teach, teach kids not to be so critical of themselves, that might, yeah. that, that would, they would go a long way, I think, with that. Yeah, I love that you start your show always by saying, you know, you don't have to be perfect. Right. So I, I right. love that. I love that. Okay. Well, so the thing that pains me the most is when I see a kid drawing and a drawing is really good and they're getting so upset and they're getting so frustrated. And that really mm -hmm. always bothers me because I don't understand why they're so upset with their drawing because it looks good. I don't get why they're not, why they don't think it. Or the other thing is sometimes one kid will start it. They'll say, oh, I'm, I'm terrible at drawing. And then it kind of spreads. That negativity spreads really yeah. fast. And then their friends are saying, I'm terrible at drawing too. And it's like, oh, don't be positive. Don't be negative. You know, like your drawings are fine. They look good. So. All right. Okay, Miss Goodwin, go ahead. You know, talk kind of reminds me of a joke. And um, I heard that if you take up drawing as a midlife hobby, but you can't get past tracing, you might have an existential crisis. <laughs> good, good one. Good I like one, that. That's a good, good one. Good one. I like that. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Um, well, we we better let Mr. Mr. Harpster go because I know we got to get on for his live in a minute. Yeah. <laughs> but um, I will say that you know uh, I I have promoted your stuff because like Callie, she's going to take your fantasy drawing on cool. May 29th. So we're looking forward to that. I will be drawing with her. Yeah. You always say, you always say, um, this is for, you know, the younger kids. I'm like, no, 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 no. I'm drawing too. I'm just. No, I have adults that draw with me a lot too. They don't, yeah, they're not me. really vocal about it, but they do. They draw with me. And I think it's great when parents and grandparents draw with the kids. I think that's just, I think that's a, it's a, uh, such a good uh, sit down family activity and uh, I'm really happy when, when I see that and, uh, or when I get letters from parents and they send me their drawings with their kids' drawings and they yes. found like a hobby, an activity they can do together because that's what art is. Art is about creating and sharing. Right. So, yeah. Well, and it's like something that I told Callie, you know, yesterday or the day before, you know, that we keep all of our drawings in a folder. And I said, you know, one day when you're old, you will have these and can come back and say, remember that time that we had to, you know, stay at home and all of the, it's just something for her to keep for when she yeah. grows up. So I love that part of it too. Right. Yeah. And I think that's another thing about art. Uh, we, we tend to save that, our kids' art. 
Um, we don't really save our math tests. We don't save uh, a lot of the other work. We'll save the stories and the art because that really is the soul and the personality of the child. And, it, and it's neat to keep that um, and hang on to that forever. So. All right. Okay. One more question, Cody. Sure. One more. Oh. Oh, and guess what? Um, is it okay that I add any, any cartoon African animals to my story? Yes. Cody, Cody uh, always writes the oh, best story. Oh, is it okay story. that I draw some African animals? Yes. Yeah. Absolutely, Cody. <laughs> Miss uh, Reinholds, did you have a question? I don't have a question. I just have a request. Can we all hold up our picture one more time and let me take a picture of all of us? Yes. Okay. Our cat or our man? Uh, either one. Your favorite. My man. <laughs> I'm holding up my cat. Uh, I'm pushing the wrong button. <laughs> Are you doing a screen grab? Yes, I got it. Okay. Everybody smile. Show me uh, your stuff. One, for some two. reason I get really dark when I hold mine up. Three. Thank you. That's all. Awesome. Okay. Awesome. All right. Well, thank you so much. Um, yeah. Thank, yeah. You. thank you. That was awesome. And I'm going to, for sure, whenever we get to go back to school, I'm going to look into maybe flying you out to us. Okay. So that you can come and actually like sit down mm -hmm. and draw with us. So I'm going to be inquiring about that. Yeah. Um, for yeah. sure. I, I fly I to Texas a lot. I do a lot. I know. I see your Bucky <laughs> shirt all the time. I'm like, yeah, Bucky. <laughs> My whole family so, has a Bucky shirt, but I'm the only one that's been there. So. Yeah. So I, yeah, definitely. I would that I'd love for you to come and, yeah. and, you know, have a school visit with us. That would, I think be that great. would be something that would just be, you know, awesome for our kids and our whole school. Yeah. So thank you so much. I, I have absolutely loved this. Um, you, you for sure made my day. So <laughs> and, well, thank you for the many reminders. I feel like I'm so yeah. absent minded now that this is, you know what? I am so used to, to many reminders for everyone. <laughs> you just fit right in. <laughs> yes. Um, but I, and also thank you for doing this for all of us, you know, um, a lot of people I know, including us, have thoroughly enjoyed this and it's taking, you know, our mind away from what's going on, yeah. you know, in the world. And so, so thank you. Yeah. Oh, you're welcome. Yeah. Unfortunately, I can't do it forever. I'm changing the hours. I know, know. I know. I know. We're yeah, it's just such what? a commitment for everybody. So it's, it's not just yeah. me. It's just the whole family has to center sure. around that part of the day. And so, mm -hmm. and with my wife going back to work, things are going to change um things starting to kind of open up and things as they go back to normal so uh while well, it's been fun <laughs> yes it has it has because you know but, with without this i would have you know not have ever known you know you were out there so yeah, yeah. I, I love i love that you know that it's connected us in that way so yeah. thank you for all that you've done oh you're welcome so, yes i know you gotta go so okay. <laughs> thank, you. thank you <laughs> i enjoyed it <laughs> thank you